2023 has been a fantastic year in women's MMA, with new contenders rising to challenge the queens in their respective divisions. Since competition is getting tougher by the day, winning by decisions isn't good enough anymore, even in the women's divisions where finish rates are comparatively low. Knockouts are a quick way to earn a shot at gold, so it's only wise to let those hands and feet go. So here are some of the craziest knockouts in women's MMA in 2023 so far. Agata Lucas vs. Annette Stock Rising Brazilian star Agata Lucas has made a blistering start to her professional MMA career with three stoppage wins in March, April, and May of 2023. She debuted against 44-year-old Annette Stock at Chuto Brazil in March. Their fight lasted nearly three rounds, and Agata was in the driving seat throughout, using her youth, strength, and power to her advantage to punish her much older foe. By the third round, Stock had an empty gas tank, and Lucas dropped her early with a thunderous strike, but refused to follow her onto the mat given her grappling credentials. As soon as Stock stood up, Agata put her out of her misery by hurting her with a four-punch combo, followed by ground and pound until the referee came to Stock's rescue. The finish was about 10 strikes too long, however. Daria Zelaznikova vs. Marie Loisau Bantamweight Daria Zelaznikova is a menace on the feet with strong boxing skills and an overhand right that could shut out the lights on any fighter in her division. In her professional victories, the Russian has won five by knockout, including her most recent one against Marie Loisau at Aries FC 14 back in April. Now right off the bat, Daria was the aggressor, swinging hard at her opponent who backtracked a number of times to avoid getting face planted. Marie could run, but unfortunately she couldn't hide, and less than 90 seconds into the fight, she went stumbling down after getting rocked with a stiff hook. Daria followed her back up to her feet and then landed a big right hand to send her down again. After a few additional shots on the mat, the fight was over. Days, she is days. And again, she goes down. Fernanda Larios versus Marisol Ruelas. After three consecutive losses in her first three professional fights, Fernanda Larios finally seems to be getting a hold of her nerves and is now 2 and 0 in her last two fights, with her most recent victory coming against Marisol Ruelas by first round knockout and comeback global. Now, Larios and Ruelas swung hard at each other throughout the fight, with some of their shots landing while others missing just by the tiniest of margins. Larios managed to land on a consistent basis, and as the fight progressed, she tagged Ruelas multiple times with her right hand. At 3 minutes and 35 seconds of the first round, Larios lunged forward with a crushing straight right hand that sent her opponent packing. Just tick tock back. Oh, beautiful right hand! Ayaka Watanabe versus Mina Kurobe. Now imagine facing a veteran with over 20 professional fights in only her third fight. That's a test that Ayaka was handed, and the 25-year-old passed it with flying colors. At one win and one loss as a professional, Watanabe wasn't given much of a chance against a far more experienced fighter and Mina Kurobe, who had 18 wins in 24 fights when the two fought at Shudo in January. Despite the lack of experience, Watanabe outstruck and outclassed the veteran with her striking prowess and finished the job with a brutal uppercut which sent Kurobe crashing face first onto the canvas. <laughs> Watanabe didn't stop there, however. She took out another veteran and Satomi Takeno, rocking her with a huge head kick before finishing the job on the ground. <laughs> Chanel Dyer vs. Weronika Esser after a successful amateur career, the 22-year-old Chanel the Nightmare Dyer made a successful start to her professional career by stopping her opponent within a round. The British kickboxing sensation was all over a clueless Weronika Esser for as long as the fight lasted, lighting up her opponent like a Christmas tree with some very big punches and stinging body and leg kicks. Dyer's speed, power, and precision gave Esser nightmares until his spinning back elbow four seconds before the end of the first round finished the job. Oh, spinning elbow! Only two weeks later, Dyer faced Camila Simkova and put a worse beating on her, bloodying her up with powerful strikes and finishing the job by pummeling her helpless opponent against the cage. Amber Laybrock vs. Martina Jindrova Amber Laybrock may have pulled off the best head kick knockout of 2023 in the PFL prelims, 
Heading into the fight, Laybrock was an underdog in every way, but she fought against all odds and stopped Jendrova in her tracks in an impressive manner. The Czech was better striker on paper, while Laybrock was expected to wrestle more, and then the tables turned. Laybrock gave Jendrova a face full of feet just a little over two minutes into their fight, landing a perfectly timed head kick to send her opponent crashing onto the canvas. Laybrock landed a few hammer fists, and the fight was over. Now, if you are loving the video so far, show us some love by smashing that like button so we know to make more videos like this for you. Stamp Fairtex vs. Elise Anderson Upon one championship's entry into the United States, Stamp Fairtex emerged as a true representative of Muay Thai against Elise Anderson, who had a former two-time UFC champ Rose Namajunas in her corner. Aware of Stamp's threats on the feet, Anderson used a mixed method approach, pressing the Thai sensation with aggressive boxing combinations to find opportunities for takedowns. While the American did have her moments and secured takedowns in the first round, she wasn't able to do much with them. And despite a close round, she was the second best on the judges' scorecards. In the second round, Anderson tried to grapple again, but allowed Stamp to jump on her back and look for the neck. After failing to sink in a rear naked choke, Stamp jumped off Anderson's back but was immediately pressed against the cage in the clinch. Upon separation, however, the Muay Thai star smashed Anderson with a thumping liver kick that forced her into a fetal position. The referee jumped in immediately to save the American from taking further damage. Denise Gomez vs. Bruna Brazil After a losing start to her UFC career, Denise Gomez bounced back into the win column in style. The Brazilian made her second walk to the UFC octagon in April against Bruna Brasil, and from the opening bell, she was looking to do damage, whether it was in close, from range, or in the clinch. Bruna Brasil managed to keep up with the pace and aggression of Gomez throughout the first round, but she struggled in the second. Gomez was relentless in the second round and chased Brasil down with some big shots. Midway through the first round, Gomez cracked Brasil's chin with a strong looping right. The weird things when she. Brasil crashed on the canvas in an instant, but Gomez still needed a flurry of ground strikes to end the fight. Natalia Silva vs. Victoria Leonardo Natalia Silva is a UFC flyweight to keep your eye on. Within one year of signing with the UFC, Silva has won all time she steps inside the octagon. Silva most recently fought Victoria Leonardo at UFC Vegas 73 in May, and right off the bat she put pressure on her opponent giving Leonardo nightmares with the speed and accuracy of her strikes, especially her punches. Silva's 1-2s were fast as heck, and she marginally missed Leonardo's chin on a couple of occasions. Halfway through the first round, however, she connected with a big left hook and dropped Leonardo, who immediately shot for the legs. Silva sprawled and defended the takedown, and as soon as the two got back up to their feet, the Brazilian pressed her foe against the cage and landed a punch, followed by a kick to end the fight. Leonardo, oh, oh, just not at the oh, office. Leonardo's covered up and that'll do it. Jan Shounen versus Jessica Andrade. At UFC 288, Jan Shounen showcased the improvement she has made since joining Team Alpha Male when she locked horns with Jessica Andrade in a potential strawweight title eliminator. The Chinese star came out aggressively, refusing to touch gloves and immediately touching Andrade with crisp punch and leg kicks. Andrade fired back by swinging with mean intentions. But Jan was dialed in, and she quickly moved out of the Brazilian's punching zone every single time that she came firing. Now, During the first two minutes, Jan used her improved boxing ability to frustrate Andrade to the point that the Brazilian was forced to rush forward with no regard for defense. Now That proved to be costly as Jan melted her with a strong counter hook while backpedaling. She then jumped onto her opponent and rained hammer fists until the referee intervened and waved off the fight. The speed oh! So with that, we have come to an end of our video on the craziest knockouts in women's MMA in 2023. Which one is your favorite? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And to watch more videos like the one that you just watched, please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.